say they were not coming in. Okay, so I will just record. Yeah, no problem. Okay, so today we will go through the question. I think most of you, if you check your answer, you will know what is the question to be. Okay, so same as a basic class, I will explain to you the reason of why I said the question. So then you know. Okay, well, let me, uh, yeah, you all can uh, stop all your video. Yeah, so because the, here in the line also, in, Electric line, everything is not reliable. So I'm if the electric it fell off, so the line might disappear for a while. Okay. Anyway, so let's go for question number one. All right, this is an intermediate level. It's a three hours. So first thing that when you come to any exam, whether Bali or Abidam or whatever, first make sure you check the time. All right. So you check it three hours. That's the first thing that you should do. Second thing is A, B, C, three questions. And then the section B, also A and B. And see, so totally there are six questions. So it's six question and you have three hours. That's mean that you have half an hour, 30 minutes for each question. So you all have to check, make sure you don't over time. Because if you spend lots of time here, you don't answer other questions, the marks will be less if you didn't answer other questions. So make sure you only spend 30 minutes for one question. And out of this one, this is a, and make sure you read the question very well. This is compulsory. Okay, but one is compulsory. But two, you can choose the suitable sentences. So there are options here for part two. But part one is compulsory. So this is a verb analysis, and this is a conjugation, and this declension. Because since this is an advanced uh, intermediate class, most of the students will not make mistakes. For the basic student, they don't know. Sometimes they don't know how, what's the meaning of this. You know, But for you all, it should be no problem. Now, on this question number one, you have 10 verbs, and you must write three, okay? So for each question, I will expect there are 10 questions and, and you need to write this A and B and C. So that's mean that there will be 10 times 3 equals to 30 marks. So for this question, it's 30 marks. So datum, you have to tell me what is the type, what's the meaning, what analysis. I have some, what's the type of verb, the meaning, and analysis, and so on. On B is conjugation, right? So you have to write first, second, third, but so 6 times 2 is 12. So this means that 1, 2, 3, uh, it will be 36. And declension, you know declension, there are six cases times single plural, so it will be uh, 16 times 232. All right, now I go to the question already. Okay, so... Right, so what analysis? That word, all right, so datum. I think uh, if brother Kao, yeah. right. brother Kao, he made a mistake because instead of datum, he thought it's a datum. I think he see from his handphone, which is a smaller. So it's a U here, it's not A. And then he answered as a past participle. Okay, it's not past participle, it's a tum here. When you say the tum suffix, then it's infinitive because this exists in one of the questions. So if you do homework properly, you will see datum. And if you prepare well your homework, you will see you already analyze it as infinitive or pasati. So you need to give me, as I say, the type of verb. So if for those who are taking the exam like this, so you need to draw a chart like this, then it's very clear. Infinitive, type of verb, meaning to see and analyze it. So this becomes past. So for this question, so because we don't have much time, so uh, no need to write this because it's not needed. It will take too much time to write unnecessary thing. Okay, so you just need to this change it to das and plus tum, and then you show me that tum is okay. So no need to show this plus plus plus. A. It's not needed here. So the meaning is, uh, so the meaning is to see, and the purpose of this is to test whether the student can understand this is an infinitive. Because it's very obvious from this tom, T U M tom. Okay, it's not that term here. Now, second is I he sum. So this is the test if you understand the S insertion. What's mean an S insertion? All right, later I'll explain. I he sum because it's um. Remember when we say Aries, Aries have two suffix. One is a, uh, uh, this im su. Another one is um. Okay, so if you see the um you should be able to understand that it's Aries, the person poorer. Okay, they were, they were, all right. Uh, I think, yeah, I did this too. Either you write one of them, it's okay. 
A plus Wu, okay? Then you drop the B, and then there's a S insertion, and then plus um, and then the U change to E. It's not, uh, no need to explain because it's a little bit more complicated, but you just need to say, show me A plus Wu and S. You need to put the bracket for this S, all right? I saw most of the students didn't write it's an S insertion. Okay. Most of the students, I think all the students didn't show me it's S insertion. This means that they didn't check properly in their homework because this exists in their homework. So if you didn't show me S insertion or minus mark, because S insertion is in, important here. Because you need to know that there's S insertion and um. Um is one thing, S insertion is another thing. All right. Uh Wong, I think you didn't show me the S insertion also, right? Wong? Okay. Okay. So Bina, past participle. This is to show Sorry, what's Sayaji, the purpose of this one? Sayaji. Yes. Uh, Did you show the S insertion in your paper? No, right? I I no. I lump it no, up okay. with the uh, S U M. Oh okay, okay. Yeah, you miss it. But um actually is another uh yeah, ending yeah. for the this one. Yeah. This one because I, I, you didn't show I, the S insertion, right? I, yeah. I know I, I know it was um. But uh, mm. when I write, I just add it because the mind was yeah. a bit clouded. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. I, yeah. But I changed the U yeah. to E. Mm. The U to yeah, yeah. E. U to E is correct. Yeah, U to E is correct. But uh, you need to show me OM is another thing. S is inserted here. Yeah. You know, like uh, you know, like the thing like they say C. You know, is a uh, yeah, this yeah. plus A become they say, and then the insertion of S. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Plus S, the uh, I. then the S plus the I, yeah. So to show me that this I is separate, okay? Yes. So um is separate from the S. I think most all of the students didn't get it right, okay? <laughs> now, na, okay? This is also important because people know that the past participle is, uh, okay? So for past participle, there are two suffix, okay? One is a ta and na. So this to test whether you can check can spot check the NA is another suffix for past participle. So you have the bit plus na, then you change the bin na. So the mina, you can just write, even there's no time, you can just write the answer broken, then it's okay. Okay? If you have time, you write has broken or had broken. Broken is okay. Okay, now, Abiroya, this is very easy to test if you understand this is a future tense. This is very easy because you can see from the isak, so you know it's a future tense. And then also to test if you understand the abi, all right? Future tense and the, to test on whether you can understand the prefix called abi. So abi here, here you translate as a crime out, all right? So let's say if you have no time, if uh, like Sumita, this, this one prepared by Sumita. So if you have time, you write out. If you have no time, you don't need to write. They will crime, they will crime out, they will mourn, mourn. It's a too long already. So you just write, they will, Ascend slash climb up slash mount. Then okay, right? So it's a future tense for the Abiruhati. So this one actually is extra point. Okay, you know you no need to show me this one if you don't have time. Okay, you just need to show me future tense, the person poorer. Then we know the type of verb, all right? Then a bit uh, this one also no need to show me because it's not asked in the exam. Sometimes if not asked in the exam, so better don't write extra thing. So you just need to show a bit plus look. Uh, you can, if you want to show, you can put the art here, all right? It's the conjugation sign, art, ablis plus art plus isati. So, okay. So, actually, the best way is not like this. Uh, Sumeda, you should like this, okay? Abi plus, you show me the verbal base first. So, abi plus look plus a. So, you got the abi. Abiru ha. Okay. Then the abiru ha, you plus the isanti. Then from here, you minus the a. So this will be clearer. Then we know abiru ha become abiru ha. Then plus isanti become abiru hanti. All right. Then this, if you write this, it's like very confused already. Sumita, can you follow? Yes, Sagi. Thank you. Noted. Okay. Okay. So this is to test you whether you can see isa is a future prefix abi. Now this is also to test whether you understand the abi apart. So we I already mentioned in the very first lesson, 
you need to know their prefix here. So how many? I think 20. 20 prefixes. Okay, how do you use it? So gachati, everybody knows. So apa means away. So apa gacha means go away. And then aya. Aya means short or word or mic. So si is a updated second person singular. Okay. So no need to write all this extra thing. Okay. This not needed. So you should, you work, you may go away. So apa plus gum, gum change your gach. Okay. So apa gum plus first conjugation. Uh, this, this way, so you write this is very much more proper. Okay. So. So apa plus gum, gum change ga plus a. So you apa gacha, which is a verbal base, minus the a. So you got a ya c. So you got apa gacha ya c. Now it's very clear. So if you have no time, you there's no need to write all. If you have no time, you just show the minus your elation here, then it's okay already. So this will test you on a prefix. Uh, apa. And uh, of course, to test you whether you can understand it's optative. So uh, pasida, he, in practice, second person singular. So you, may you delight, may you, so beside the word delight, I think there's another one called may you please, like may you be pleased with the Buddha. Okay, so there's another one. So basically you can just slash here. So in practice, second person singular, pa plus sat, sat change to sit, right? And then plus a. Ah. So you got the pasida, pasida minus the a, elite uh, elite the a plus a he. So you got the pasida he. So he is uh, important as a uh, imperative second person singular. Me okay. Eh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, so with that, so this is a past participle, so where is it with plus ta, with that, to test on the past participle ta suffix, so short peers, has short or peers, all right, so you can just show me this answer or either one is okay, so this question, I think this one is shown in the one of the answer, so uh, see, Every second person singular or third person singular. I think most some of the students didn't get it right because this is too simple. <laughs> All right. So it's very easy. Ask. And then because it's Aries, you put the A. So A and A combined become long A. And then plus I, uh, verbal termination. So you yeah, ask. So this is to test you on this special form. Uh, I say most of the students, I think on half got right, half don't know why it is. And then the uh, Aries, why is it? Because Ita, okay? Ita is a Aries, second person pura. You all came, right? A plus gum, gum change your gut. So, A plus ga agacha. And then, uh, uh, no, A plus ga. Okay, so, A ga, okay? A plus gum change your gut. So, A and ga, then you plus the conjugation sign. Then the drop the A. Then it plus ita agachita. Okay, test on Aries also. And this is actually to test more on the, because here, this one also got two, some of the Bali words got two prefixes. So this one of the case, you have the sum plus ni, and then the root is pat. So sum ni pat plus a. So you got sum ni pat. Here you will have an a. Then after that, Verbal base is a sani pat. So you minus the a, so plus insu, sani pat dinsu. Okay, so out of this then, any question? Any question? Okay, so for those who make mistake, so which one do you make mistake, Eddie? Uh, Shumoy, which one do you make mistake, Shumoy? Okay. She's uh, she in basic. Oh, she's in basic. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Then uh. Okay. Uh, then uh. Gan Lao. Okay. Gan Lao also basic or what? No, I I I don't know the beta and the 
Sí, okay. es cocotero. <laughs> so, th these two, right? These two yes. and this one. Yeah, okay. But you, it, it actually appear in your homework, right? Yeah, yeah, actually, got I actually, I, I prepared, but then I forgot. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank so you, you may flick, I ask flick, a flick. question, please? So, yeah, yes, Sumita. Ah, uh, yeah, this Bida, not necessary. I know that it's TA, but then I don't understand when uh, the thing come, uh, and then how to see the result. Uh. So I'm not sure already, you know, at that time. I know uh, PP I must add TA or NA, la, ITA or INA. But then the end result, la, that means no need to be tally one. La. Like Buddha also like that is the same. Ta. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the, the, nothing to worry. So the basic form that people always see is the Buddha. So it's same like B-U-D-H plus the Ta. Yes. And then ah. the, actually... If we see the sound, B U D H T A. But if oh. you're going to recite the Pali like this, Buddha, Buddha. Oh, okay. How are you going to recite Buddha, Buddha? Because Pali is a, something that people spoken. Uh. So instead of recite Buddha, 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 so people okay. change it to Buddha. Okay. okay. Yeah. To so like Buddha, Buddha. Uh, no, here is besides to avoid it, it's much more to make the sound more natural, oh, you know. Okay, okay, okay like with that, with that, with that, instead of recite with that, with that, with that, you recite oh, as with that. Okay, so put that, put that, put that, put that. Okay, so th that's the purpose of a sound to make okay. it simple. Oh. You must mm. remember, Pali is a natural language, it's not Sanskrit, you know. Yeah, yeah, thank you, thank okay. you. I think most yeah. people make mistake here. This one, number seven or eight, yeah. The others, I think you all can guess by yourself. For me, um, for the video, yes. for video, somehow, I, I don't know why I cannot. I, I cannot remember. Paying, I have been paying attention to the assimilation for the Y. Uh, like okay. H, oh, yeah, you uh, put y, fit and H. yeah, right? Yeah. I, I, I also put that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some I, people, I, right? I didn't put anything, but I, I don't know why. Yeah. At that time, I couldn't. I that one of, is... A conjugation, so it's not right, long. No? Yeah, yeah. So this is wrong. Okay. Yeah, so bit yeah. and yeah is a wrong one. Correct. So people made yeah. a mistake here also. It's but I don't know why you yeah. put the wire. Yeah. yeah. I think you yeah. confuse it. Okay. Vijati, so people uh, make... that one is uh vijati, right? Unless it's uh oh yeah vijati, yeah. Ah, then it's oh yeah, talking that's about like... yeah. Ah, that's I think why you I all confused that. with the yeah yeah with Jati. yeah okay yeah but but that's why I I got it confused so it should be plus the T plus the ta yeah yeah, yeah the, actually this one came the, in your one of your question you know yeah this why yes, I say yes, I yes. yeah okay <laughs> just, okay yeah. <laughs> all right so for this one part B. Mm -hmm. So you the meaning of conjugation means you have to write like exactly in a book. This is I already ask you to all do it as a homework. So you need to write first person. This why I in, in case I know you all exam you all panic. This I write very clearly. You need to write first person, second person, third question, third person, singular and plural. Right? Singular SG and plural, right? And then the marks will be since you got one, two, three, four, five, six. And then with the you need to write the meaning also. So there will be 12. Right, so time three verbs. This part will give you thirty six point. I think most people get it right. All right. So upapajati, very easy. So actually, you don't need to show this one. If you want to show upa plus pat, and yeah, this one I think people confuse the D and Y. Here D and Y become J J. All right. So upapaja. So you minus the A. So this uh, elated. So you got A yeah. So upapaja yeah. Uh, you, uh, uh, Sumita, this one you need to put double Y, all right? So, upapajaya. So, remember last night I asked you all to recite Eya, Eyum, Eyasi, Eyata, Eyami, Eyama. So, if you can remember the recitation, so easy for you to write. So, upapajaya, upapajayum, upapajayasi, upapajayata, upapajayami, upapajayama. Then, short form A, upapajay, upapajayum, upapajesi. Upapajeta, upapajemi, upapajema. So this is actually easy. So the answer will be uh, he or she might work, might uh, reborn or rise. So I think just write the reborn or arise. It's not arise, I think, arise. Arise or rise, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So if you know time, you just put like slash and slash and slash and slash. 
then it's okay. So because we you all don't have much time, so you do like this, it's okay. Okay. So this one I think most people get it right. It's uh, not so difficult. This one I think most people because you all are very familiar with the gachati, so most people get it right. So this part actually is uh, this question is to give the student marks. Because most of you will be able to answer this one. So gachi or optional agachi. Gachi agachi agachimsu agachum. So either uh, I think if you write like this, very confused. So put like this. So yeah. Gacho or agacho. Gachi agachi. Agachita. Gachita agachita. Gachim with the M dot. Okay, agachim. Agachim ha, gachim ha. Agachim ha, gachim ha. So most people get it right. Okay. So of course, this one might be theory. Whether it appear or not, we don't know. Okay, but it's okay. You can write it. So this one. Abi wa te ti, all right. So you need to write the question asks you to write as. So I think most people get it quite okay. Imperative mode, all right. So when you say imperative mode, you must remember it's a tu and tu hi ta mi ma. So tu and tu hi ta mi ma. So basically, how do you write? Very easy. So you just minus the D. After you minus the D, you get the verbal basis. Abi wa de. So from abi wa de, you plus the tu. So you go abi wa de tu. Then you plus the and tu. All right. Okay, so let me break it. So abi wa de tu plus the n tu. Abi wa de tu, abi wa den tu. Abi wa de hi, abi wa de ta. Abi wa de mi, abi wa de ma. So this one, without the hi, actually I check, it's, it's not so common, okay? So that's why some, I think I minus it, or if you don't write, it's okay. Abi wa de. Abi wa de hi is okay already. So, may or let, okay, may or let, may he or may she or let him or she. So, either, if no time you write either one of these, instead of these three, either you write one or two is okay, okay. So, I think this question also not so difficult. Uh, anybody make mistake here? How about Wong? Did you make a mistake here? Uh, Which one I you made? I made the spelling mistake. Dantu. Okay. Dantu. Okay. The, yeah. You put the yeah. abi wa, wa dantu, is it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know why? Because you didn't get it. You have to find the verbal base first. All right? From the verbal base, how you get verbal base? Very easy. You just delete the T. After you delete the T, you got the abi wa de. Right? Abi wa de, then you put the antu. Right? Mm. Right or not? Yeah, yeah. So you will not... I see wrongly. So... You see wrongly. Or you yeah, didn't see the really abi what they did. You put it as A, is it? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I think I do. Sometimes I do correct and I do wrong. This I think it's my mistake <laughs> because my eyesight is not very good because my eyesight yeah, is yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why uh, because you all are senior citizens. That's why for the next one, I don't give exam for you all. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, Jay, I, yes? Uh, okay, I, the decline, the, the conjugation, the, that, that is uh, okay. Uh, okay, but it's just that instead of saying bow down, I say may pay homage. Homage, I think it's okay. Yeah, yeah. so uh, uh, be wa de ti. bow down, salute. Yeah, it's okay. Salute, greet, welcome, honor. Pay homage is also can. Yeah, it's also can. Okay. No mm. problem. So mm. I did a minus mark there. Yeah, it's okay. It has the same meaning. Yeah, okay. Thank you. So the meaning abi is very respected, right? So how about this wadati? Okay, wadati. What's the root word? To say. Yeah, to speak. But here, not to say here. It should not mean the meaning of saying down. But it's okay. We just take it abi wadati is a, you're either bound down or the other meaning will be like salute, uh, homage also okay. Honor. 
pay homage. Yeah, many, many. Just as long as you understand the meaning, it's like respect the Buddha, it's okay. All right. Yeah, uh, so no question. Shaji, with... Yes. Shaji, may yes. I ask, when you put rank form, does it mean that it's reg irregular verb? Uh, not rank form means that I check it seldom come out. It's not so common. Let's say, okay, now we check the Abi while they hit. Right in the with the I hope you all did install this no because for the next one, if you need to do the assignment, you need to have good dictionary. So you can see you have two here, Abi what they hit. It's a this one is in the Dika Nikaya. Abi where they hit. So the Buddha tell the the Dewa, the Saka, he tell the musician go to the Buddha, pay respect to the Buddha. Alright, so this appear too, Abi what they hit. But let's say if you are Biwadi, this one only appear one time. Okay. And it's only appear in poem. So poem is sometimes they poem cannot be so uh not like sutta. Okay. This always changes more in poem. Okay, so no question, let's go for the next one. Now, this one is on the part number two. Declension. Now this one is a tricky in a way that I don't write the meaning, all right? So I don't tell you what is the meaning of this sana. I also don't know, the, didn't tell you what's the meaning of uyana. So I think uyana you all know is a garden, all right? Most of all you know is garden. what's the meaning of this sana. Then you need to write down the meaning. Actually, I hope uh, you all write down in case, but some of them didn't write in the. How you know? This is a, is, you all should know it's a feminine. It's mm -hmm. Yeah, this one should be neuter. Yeah. This one need yeah. to be feeling because it ending with the long a long, a. long a. I think you all should be able to spot it, right? So if that's you're not right. able to spot it, that's mean that you didn't study properly very clearly. It's a feminine like Kanya. So this question is a tricky question to test you whether do you understand it's a feminine, right? So you need to decline it. So so you need to know if a feminine you must decline it feminine, and masculine and neuter is quite same, right? But if you don't understand this, you need to think about it because in the book already have the noun okay so you already studied now they said it so they said it means uh espound preach okay so if you know the Sermon. meaning so they sana command Sermon. 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 sorry sermon, sermon. Mm. give sermon like give tamato right okay then the meaning of desana is sometimes desana means like the Buddha teaching also can, right? This course. This course also can, all right? So preaching. anyway, teaching, yes. Preaching, preaching. Preaching, yes, okay. Yeah, so you. check the meaning of desetic, yeah? So, okay. Preachers espound, all right? Preachers espound. So desana will be? Discourse sermon preaching, all right? Yeah. So either of these. Okay. So I think most of you get the meaning right. And some of you who didn't get it right, yeah? Anybody? Didn't know the meaning. Yeah. I I, Wong, I yes. know the feminine, so I decline accordingly. To feminine, a, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's just that I I don't know why I cannot remember the English word sermon. I <laughs> but finally you did you write down? Finally, I, did you write I, down? I, the I did not, but I I no, I just did you the didn't write down. Yeah, you, okay. you comment you commented I, I I should have put in the the meaning, the meaning. yeah. Yeah, okay. But okay. I, I could only do the declension for <laughs> okay for the singular and plural. Yeah, it's okay. Because main thing is to test 